Do you feel a little bit more hopeful now for 2018, based on the last year and all that's come out, that it has to get better? Well, I feel that it has to, but I feel like a lot of um, things, that th this stuff is ingrained in culture and mm -hmm. society, that it's acceptable. Um, and I don't think it's going to... I think it's going to be a work in progress mm. and I don't think it's something you can just go right let's do a big campaign and it disappears because but it you but that doesn't mean you shouldn't do a campaign and the whole thing about my album and my website where I'm talking about trying to spread an ep epidemic of kindness yeah. is about that like you cannot become idle with this stuff you have to chip away slowly mm -hmm. and things don't ever miraculously change it's about collective responsibility to contribute mm. to change over a long period of time so I'm really glad that campaign's happening but I also on the other hand hope that it doesn't mean you know in six months time they're going to go right we did that everything's yeah. fine and we've changed and there's no more curb crawlers and nobody gets sexually assaulted anymore because that wouldn't be true no and you spoke as well recently about gender fluidity and your perception of it isn't isn't to do with sex it's more to do with raising a little boy to be kind and to play with dolls if that's what he wants to do and I suppose that will all contribute too yeah or a little girl to think that like she could be a scientist or a firefighter yeah. and that her her choices or his choices and neither one is re restricted because of their gender mm -hmm. and I think that's quite a simple idea. But have you experienced those times where you felt your gender impacted how you were being treated? I've never felt that in the music industry. Good. That doesn't mean to say that it doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. I can't speak for everyone but I haven't that's great. experienced it but I also think that I'm so undiscreet as a person <laughs> <laughs> that anybody who wanted to try their luck manipulating their power in that way would be stupid to try it on me because <laughs> I obviously would just go and tell like anybody who'd listen because I just share overshare yeah. generally. Me too. So it's I don't no think harm. I'm necessarily <laughs> a target but I have experienced things just on street level like sexual assault and I have been I mean this is dark for your thing sorry and I brought us there I'm I've sorry. been <laughs> drugged uh really with a date rape drug before but luckily I wasn't on my own even though they wow. thought I was um and I don't know that many women that haven't experienced that on some level mm. or been abused because a they were either too provocative or b too masculine mm -hmm. or you know like it flips as well yeah. like it's There's just no just, safe boundary it's just all discrimination and yeah, yeah it's it's sad it is it's tough yeah is there any unfulfilled dreams that you have like what's on your bucket list for the next couple of years um i would love to do a bit more playing music and stuff on a global level mm -hmm. um i love traveling and I love performing, so that mm. would be my ideal lifestyle, would be just to do that all the time. Yeah. Um, and just to continue, like, I'm, I feel really lucky. Like, I know that a lot of people in modern music don't last for very long, so I'd like to continue. I'd love to be Sade one day, yeah. where I can just, like, take a few years off and then put an album out and everyone buys it and comes to the gigs That's without the stress. I think you're getting there. I think you're getting there and you don't have to worry about it and it's just <laughs> the theatres fill up.